Hello everyone. This is Dr. N. Sandil Madhasamy, Associate Professor of Computer Science Engineering. Great pleasure for me to welcome you all for this session. In this session, topic to be covered is Extracting Evidence from a Device. At the end of Unit 3, students will be able to explain the process of acquiring and documenting computer forensics evidence for investigation. At the end of this session, the students will be able to understand the extracting evidence from a from device. Now we will see about extracting evidence from a device. Investigators use three primary methods to extract the evidence from a device. First method involves using a hardware device such as Dolan 4 and 6 hard disk drive. Second method involves using vendor software such as FTK or NCAS. Finally, another method involves using a line command interface. This third method involves running Linux commands both to acquire the evidence and to search and filter the evidence. The third and other professional tools such as NCAS are expensive. So, we will see about DD Utility which is free and accepted tool in the code room followed by global regular expression sprint crop and schemas. DD is Unix command utility used to copy data from a source location to destination. From a computer forensics perspective, DD is important because it is an accepted file format for forensics imagining and because of its versatility. It is versatile because the command can be used to the command can be used to image very specific data. The user can verify also images with MD5 algorithm and images can be sourced from a specific computer on a network and that image sent to network location. The basic format of DD IF equal to source, OF equal to destination, PS equal to byte size. In the above example, IF is short for input file and OIF is sought for output file. The byte size the byte size is often set at 512 bytes but differs according to the file system you are working with and how quickly you want to copy the source data. As noted earlier, the destination drive should be sanitized before occurring the test to forensically clean a drive using the following command td if equal to slash dev slash zero of equal to slash dev slash in the example above the dev is short for device when executed the drive will have drive will have zeros written to it this command confirms that the drive now just contains zeros the following command would then create a copy of source file td if equal to slash dev slash of equal to slash dev slash bs equal to 512 conv equal to no error. In the previous expression command conv is equal to no error is used, used to skip blocks with bad data. A major benefit of using the DD utility is the ability to image a file across a network. In Unix, we can use a utility called netcat to copy files over the network. network. We use the command nc which is used for netcat. The following is the structure of DD over the network. DD if input file or nc netcat target ip address port is an example of netcat command dd if equal to slash dev slash hda vs equal to 512 or nc 192.166.2.1 8888.166.2.1 is the IP address of the target computer and 8888 is an arbitrary port number 
that we will send the file through it is also possible to conduct remote imaging of a hard drive over the network using the ssk network using the ssk which can prevent sniffing by third party global regular expression sprint is a powerful set of unix expressions used for pattern matching here is a list of commands used in grub c does not print the does not print the keyword but instead details the number of times the keyword displays f searches for a particular file for the keyword i is not a case sensitive meaning that it ignores the case of search l outputs the file names of the matches n provides details about which lines in a file contain match v display the lines of that don't contain keyword x outputs the only exact matches used to search the lines that end in a certain character imagine a file containing the following data secluded sector sect sects dollars in ect the following simple grep expression search expression searches each line for any word containing sect in the file test.txt the command the grep sect test.txt the following result then prints on screen as sector sect dot sect sects to specify the line when the match was made you use the following grep hyphen n sect test.txt the following result then prints on screen 2 colon sector 3 colon sect 4 colon sect extended global regular expression print e g r e p allows for additional use of operators not found in basic grep the following e grep notation union or clean star star clean plus plus may or may not appear question mark the use of question mark means that the previous character may or may not be word take a look at this example grep sect question mark test dot txt the following result prints on screen sect and sect fast global reprint if grep is a unix such utility that does not use regular expressions but interprets the characters literally and this therefore faster than grep consider an if grep expression if grep dollars in ect test dot txt the following result prints t the following result prints on screen dollars in ect the you refer more commands available in the textbook also an important type of investigation is financial fraud the criminal investigation noted above involved financial fraud and more specifically credit card card theft because continuing with grep searches of the file listed previously it is prudent to understand some basic information about credit cards to make your grep searches more efficient moreover credit card fraud is a huge problem in the western world when searching for credit card numbers on a computer it is helpful to know how the numbering system works the major industry identifier mii refers to the first digit of a credit card number the diagram shows some issuer categories is the issuer identification number iin refers to the first six digits of a credit card number a credit card number can range from 12 digits to 19 digits the diagram shows a list of some of the major credit card issuer and their iins this case is check fraud an investigator might went to run a grep search to find aba numbers 
an american bankers association aba number is found on check and indicates how this financial instrument instrument is to be routed through banking system the first two digits of a aba led to a corresponding federal reserve bank the table list this bank A skimmer is an electronic device used to capture the data from the to the data from the magnetic strip on a debit credit or a prepaid card these devices will often be examined in a computer forensics laboratory the skimmers have reached epidemic proportions and are used by identity thieves worldwide they are generally battery operated and although they are illegal in the united states they can be easily purchased in canada they are also available on the internet parasite is a point of scale skimmer in 2011 discovered that skimmers had been installed in many of their point of scale pos terminals and they ended up replacing 1200 terminals criminals also use different type of parasites with one type a terminal is compromised another type a phony terminal is installed this type merely captures for the mac computer to capture the contents of ram in this summary we learned about extracting evidence from a device i mentioned the references here i hope you found this video is clear about the topic i lecture thank you and have a pleasant day